Yeah, tell your mountains to go. You ain't no fool. Use your faith and tell your mountains to go. Trey Howard, song called Mountains, right here on Guts, Gospel United Save. Variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host, Nikki V, and we do thank God for each and every one of you who are tuned into the broadcast. Yeah, can you just tell your mountains to go? Let's listen to Trey a little bit longer. That's right. You got to move. You can't be in my way. As a matter of fact, talk about something that needs to move. Uh, a little news you can use, something I found interesting, maybe you will as well. Obama to seek opening with GOP leaders on shutdown. And yeah, we want that shutdown to move. <laughs> Tell it to go. Uh, we need you to operate the way you're supposed to operate. Do what you're supposed to do. Uh, we don't want to hear all this crazy stuff that people keep trying to feed us. Uh, I'm, I'm determined to be in Goshen and not in Egypt. President Barack Obama is hosting top House Republicans to seek an opening in an impasse that has shuttered mo much of the government and threatens a catastrophic federal default. The White House meeting set for Thursday comes as House GOP leaders are contemplating advancing a short-term debt limit increase designed to calm jittery stock and bond markets and allow more time to untie the knot that has the government partially shut down for a tenth day and facing a first ever default between October 17th and the end of the month. A short-term debt limit measure was expected to be a topic of at a closed-door House GOP meeting Thursday morning. It wasn't clear what conditions GOP leaders might seek to attach to the bill, if any, but conservatives consist consistently have been pushing top Republicans like Speaker John Boehner to add conditions beyond what President Obama says he'll accept. Also, Treasury Secretary Jacob Blue was heading to Capitol Hill on Thursday to both give and get a public scolding. Blue's appearance before the Senate Finance Committee promised to be yet another public restatement of the administration's stance that Congress needs to reopen the government and lift the U.S. borrowing cap before President Obama will negotiate over the nation's budget ills. The game of Washington chicken over increasing the debt limit required so Treasury can borrow more money to pay the government's bills in full and on time already has set the stock market south, spiked the interest rate for one month, Treasury bills, and prompted Fidelity Investments, the nation's largest manager of money market mutual funds, to sell federal debt that comes due around the time the nation could hit its borrowing limit. Wednesday featured lots of activity, but no progress toward ending the budget and debt limit impasses. President Obama had House Democrats over to the White House, while Republican conservatives heard a pitch from the House Budget Committee Chairman, Repub Representative Paul Ryan, Republican of Wisconsin, on his plan 
to extend the U.S. borrowing cap for four to six weeks while jump-starting talks on a broader budget deal that could replace cuts to defense and domestic agency budgets with cuts to benefit programs like Medicare and reforms to the loophole-cluttered tax code. Curbs to Obamacare were not mentioned. At the White House, President Obama told House Democratic loyalists that he still would prefer a long-term increase in the nation's $16.7 trillion borrowing cap, but said he's willing to sign a short-term increase to give Boehner some time to deal with the Tea Party wing of his party, said Representative Peter Welch, Democrat of Vermont. A midday meeting Wednesday between the two top House Republicans and Democrats, meanwhile, yielded no progress. Rival aides to Boehner and Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi of California even disagreed over who asked for the meeting. Aides said Pelosi had, a, well, had long ignored requests for a meeting with Boehner that Boehner unexpectedly granted on short notice. President Obama invited the entire House GOP to the White House on Thursday, but uh, Boehner opted to send a smaller squadron of about 20, mostly senior members, which prompted the White House Press Secretary Jay Carney to issue an unusual statement criticizing the move to exclude Tea Party Republicans from the session. The President thought it was important to talk directly with the members who forced this economic crisis on the country, but about how the shutdown and failure to pay the country's bills would devastate the economy, Carney said. The frustrating standoff in Washington is weighing on each side's poll numbers, but Republicans are taking the worst drubbing. A Gallup poll put the approval rating of for the Republican Party at a record low 28 percent. Polls have consistently said the Republicans deserve the greater share of the blame for the shutdown. Also Wednesday, the House voted 252-172 to reopen the Federal Aviation Administration. Democrats generally opposed the measure and the White House issued a veto threat saying the government should be reopened all at once, not piecemeal. There was a brief mo moment in, of unity when the House voted 425-0 to let the Pentagon pay death benefits to the families of fallen U.S. troops. That was a topic that drew the scorn of the Senate's surprisingly outspoken chaplain, Barry Black. When our federal shutdown delays payments of death benefits to families of children dying in faraway battlefields, it's time for our lawmakers to say enough is enough, he said. Controversy accompanied the subject. Republicans said Congress had passed and Obama had signed legislation last week to permit the payments. But the Defense Department said otherwise, as Republican leaders were pushing toward a vote on the bill, making it explicit Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel announced the charity would pick up the death benefit costs instead. This is where we're at. <laughs> and unfortunately, the United States of America is tripping. But as our friend Trey Howard said, tell those mountains to go. And they can go. We don't have to worry about... Uh, the crazy. We just have to worry about God. Uh, be concerned with Him. Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and the rest is going to come together. God's going to add that to us. He's going to take care of that which needs to be taken care of. God's not a deadbeat father, but He will take care of His children. And so we do thank God for being one of His children. I hope that you who are listening are His child. If you're not His child, it's real easy. You can become His child. For uh, the word is nigh thee, even unto thy mouth, that thou shalt confess in thy mouth and believe in thy heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, you too can be saved. And so we are, we are encouraging you uh, to give your life to Christ today. Become a child of the living God. Uh, become someone who has a right to the tree of life. Uh, do not stay outside of the ark of safety. And there's something about being in the ark of safety that is uh, important to all who would uh, be included. So we hope that you would also uh, do that. Um, we thank God for you all tuning into the broadcast. You are tuning into Guts, Gospel United to Save, a variety talk show with a Christian point of view, hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I want to remind you that uh, uh, someone who can really help you out and make sure that your yard is looking tip-top condition is Allen's Lawn Service, serving all Broward County, trimming, mowing, edging, pruning, blowing, yard cleanup. He also does plumbing. The number to call if you need his services is 954 Two seven nine four eight six zero. That's nine five four two seven nine four eight six zero. And uh, even if you're not sure if you need his services, give him a call. Tell him you heard about him and you'd like to know if there's something he'll be able to do to help you uh, do your best. Nine five four seven two seven nine four eight six zero. That's nine five four two seven nine four eight six zero. 
he is capable and he's a Christian and he definitely loves the Lord and we want to make sure and encourage businesses that do uh, indeed follow a Christian mindset and are, are living uh, a life that reflects the God that we serve. And so we do thank God for that and all of our community partners and everyone who has been such a blessing to us. We would encourage you to participate and to be a part in that. Right now we're getting ready to take a quick transitional break. Uh, okay, we're getting ready to hear a little bit from T-Dog, and T-Dog's been doing a great job uh, with uh, Trayvon Martin and uh, Sabrina, and uh, we thank God for what they're doing. But I'm going to take you to one of his other uh, projects, Make God Your Best Friend. That's about what you need to do right now. Make God Your Best Friend. T-Dog, right here on Guts, Gospel Me Not to Say. Variety Talk Show with a Christian point of view, hoping you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. Be right back after this.
Yeah, I'm praying for you. That's uh, William Murphy, God Chaser is the name of the project. Song is Praying for You, right here on Guts Gospel United Save, and we are praying for you. Yeah, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for all of those who are tuned into the broadcast. We thank you, God, because you kept the stroke from happening. And we thank you, God, because you allowed healthy babies to be born. We thank you, God, because you are changing diabetes. God, we thank you and we give you the glory and the honor, oh God, because we know that you're taking care of bereaved families. You're sending comfort their way and you're causing them to be able to be encouraged and send encouragement to the other people. God, we thank you even now because you're opening doors that no man can shut and shutting doors that no man can open. God, you're bringing about all kinds of employment and you're causing financial breakthrough to happen in the earth for those who love you and so god we thank you because we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the lord those who are called according to his purpose and so god we decree and declare by faith as we speak these words over the air that those who are listening that those who are tuned in that those who have the faith to receive what god is saying even this hour those who are hear this and say you know what that's me that she's talking about and god that you would bring that breakthrough that you would break those chains that you would destroy every yoke in the mighty name of jesus for there's power in the name of jesus and the blood of jesus covers those who are in distress right now and god we rebuke and we bind everything that's not like you in the lives of the, those who are tuned into this broadcast in the lives of those who are finding themselves in a catch-22 situation god we ask that you would give them direction that they might know where to go and how to go god there is no thing that you put on us where you do not provide a way of escape and so god we thank you right now that you would show them the way of escape for there is no burden that is too hard for us but god you have given us what we need and so thank you god for greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world and we decree and declare by faith that the holy spirit will move upon those who need his power right now oh god in the mighty name of jesus and those who are not filled with the power of the holy spirit and who have had a desire for the holy spirit god we ask that you would just impart your gift to them now breathe on them and cause them to be filled oh god in the mighty name of jesus now oh god they've been trying for so long and they don't know how to receive but god we ask that you would give them the understanding of just receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit that they might be filled to the utmost to overflow that it would make a difference in their lives and we thank you for it now we give you the glory and the honor because it belongs to you in Jesus name we pray by the power of the Holy Ghost thank you God amen we're praying for you and we thank God for you all tuning into the broadcast for those of you who are uplifted and enlightened and encouraged we also say that you are welcome to call in if you'd like prayer or if you'd like uh, for uh, to say a testimony if you want to interject your thoughts your comments uh, it's all welcome the number to call 877-217-5375 that's 877-217-5375 and we do thank god for those of you who have called in who have sent text messages who have been a part of what god is doing right here and right now who uh, have gone on to gutsay.com and who have been a part of the broadcast before we are ever so grateful and ever so mindful that it didn't have to be what you did and we thank you for doing it we're getting ready to go into the next series or the next study that we're in raptured in or involved in or uh, caught up in and and that is talking about developing the leaders around you and uh, we want to determine the success level of that leader now the greatest leadership principle that i have learned in my years of leadership is that those closest to the leader will determine the success level of that leader. You either help us be successful or you tear us down. That's really by how it works. A negative reading of this statement is also true. Those closest to the leader will determine the level of failure for that leader. In other words, the people close to me make me or break me. The determination of a positive or negative outcome in my leadership depends upon my ability as a leader to develop those closest to me that they might be strong enough to support the work that's on me. It also depends upon my ability to recognize the value that others can give my organization and me. My goal is not to draw a following that results in a crowd. My goal is to develop leaders who can become a movement. This is what we're endeavoring to do. Kingdom building. Networking as a body of Christ. Fitly joined together. Body ministry, if you will. Kingdom principles. Getting into the DNA of God. 
becoming a force to be reckoned with, not because of any fame or acclamation for us, but because it will bring glory to God. Now stop for a moment and think of five or six people closest to you in your organization. Are you developing them? Or are you smothering them? Are you keeping them from becoming the best them that they can be because you're afraid that if they become good, they'll override you? Think about it. Just think about it. Do you have a game plan for them? And are they growing? Have they been able to lift your load? Within organizations, the Leadership Development Institute um, and other leadership programs, uh, some places they have Enjoy and Skyline, Weston and Church Leadership Development, um, that is always emphasized. Do you have any kind of leadership training that is emphasized in your organization? Now, in, in the first training session for John Maxwell, he gives new leaders this principle. As a potential leader, you're either an asset or a liability to the organization. First principle, you're either an asset or a liability. And he illustrates this truth by saying, when there's a problem, a fire in the organization, you as a leader are often the first to arrive at the scene. You have in your hands two buckets. One contains water and the other contains gasoline. The spark before you will either become a greater problem because you pour the gasoline on it or be extinguished because you use the bucket of water. Now naturally we want to use the water, but sometimes we end up using the gasoline. Every person within your organization also carries two buckets. The question a leader needs to ask is, am I training them to use the gasoline or am I training them to use the water? Something to think about. I'm getting ready to transition and, and get to the next portion in the broadcast, but something to uh, consider when we're going through and thinking about these things. We thank you again for tuning into the broadcast. I want to remind you that Allen's Lawn Service is available. He's serving all of Broward County, uh, trimming, mowing, edging, pruning, yard cleanup. He also does plumbing. The number to call to find out more about how Allen can make a difference in your life, 954-279. 4860. That's 954 279 4860. A Christian man who's doing a great work in South Florida. Uh, we would encourage you to call on him for all of your landscaping needs. He gives free estimates. And uh, even if you have some plumbing issues, give him a call. See if he can help you. I'm sure he will. Also, in community news and what's going on, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month as well as Clergy Appreciation Month. In line with Breast Cancer Awareness, on the 27th of October, the Fort Lauderdale Multicultural Church of God in Christ will be having a special service at 11 a.m. We'll have an oncologist on uh, board who will be able to ask, answer, answer your questions and uh, direct you as to what you should know about breast cancer awareness. Also, Panera Bakery Restaurant is having their Go Pink mugs in honor of breast cancer awareness as well as a special a bagel that they have uh, which is the pink ribbon bagel it's a cherry vanilla bagel and it is absolutely delicious the mugs are absolutely gorgeous they're eleven ninety five for the mugs every three dollars from every mug goes towards memorial regional cancer institute and you get free coffee for the entire month of october once you have purchased one of the mugs 10% of every bagel is donated to Breast Cancer Research to Memorial Regional Cancer Institute. So we're encouraging you that are in the area, if you find a, a Panera around you, to go in and support. Naturally, I would love for you to support the Imperial Square Panera, which is right there on Federal Highway, north of Commercial Boulevard, and south of Imperial Point Hospital. If you're over in that area, please stop in and purchase as much as you can, really, as much as you'd like and uh, help with this uh, endeavor in supporting breast cancer awareness and also we get something enjoyable I believe as well. Thank you again for tuning into the broadcast. You are tuned in to Guts Gospel United Save, a variety talk show with a Christian point of view hoping that you will have the guts to tell somebody about Jesus. I'm your host Nikki V and we thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. We hope you'll continue to tune in and be a part of what God is doing right here and right now. 
The number to call to join in the conversation, 877-217-5375. That's 877-217-5375. Thanks again for join, joining us. For over 30 years, we've been the gospel voice of South Florida, pushing for the WUS law. We'll be there for the gentleman in the fire. Tournament speaker, International School of 